speak with head coach Mel Mailer before the men's soccer team kicks off its non-conference schedule uh, Friday afternoon against the University of Buffalo. Uh, coach, if you will, before we get to the Bulls, uh, your non uh, your, your preseason training, uh, how do you, what do you look for and how has that been going for you for the last few weeks here? First thing, it's, it's probably just a, a matter of survival. You know, we're trying to condense a lot of uh, instruction into a two and a half week period. Uh, and uh, keeping guys uh, healthy has been a challenge, as it is every year. And uh, being careful not to overload them uh, with uh, with so much stuff that uh, they just can't focus on playing and, and doing things simple and well. So it's gone well. We've we've uh, had to deal with some injuries. We've gotten through those. Uh, we've got great depth, uh, I believe, and, uh, and some diversity amongst the, the players in the roster, which gives me the flexibility to move players around to uh, to overcome some of those those injuries, so to speak. So uh, it's gone well. We're pleased. Uh, two straight years of uh, double-digit wins for you. Uh, last year you go to the tournament, year before you're in the semifinals. Uh, you lost 10 seniors last year, but you bring back 13 sophomores from that freshman class last year, and you bring in 12 more newcomers this year. Um, if you would kind of talk about the chemistry and how that's played out uh, so far this year. I think our team chemistry is, is brilliant. Uh, uh, in, in the years I've been doing this, uh, this is one of the, the few times where I can say back-to-back -back we've had great team chemistry. Uh, I'm, I'm very pleased with that, but that's uh, the work of the players doing that. Obviously, we try to bring in players that are of similar faith and believe in the same type of work ethic and, and have the similar goals, uh, but at the same time, they still have to actually do the work to, to, to learn to get along with each other and, and play with each other. Um, replacing the 10 seniors, well, uh, that you can never do. Uh, we have a, a great sophomore class with a lot of experience, but they're still sophomores. And uh, there's, a, there's a learning curve that they still have to go through. Uh, with the 14 new faces we have, uh, that just adds to the challenge. Uh, we're, we're trying to shorten that learning curve uh, in a very, sh again, short period of time. Uh, but I'm encouraged. Uh, if, if I look at the big picture, uh, I, I see 23, 24 players together for the next three years. Uh, so uh, we'll, we'll do our very best this year. I, I anticipate us to still be one of the teams to be uh, in, in the hunt and get into the postseason. Uh, but uh, again, where we're looking at also is, uh, is beyond just this year, but uh, for future years. All right, and your fellow A-10 coaches picked you to go back to the tournament as a sixth team uh, this year. Um, one of those seniors that you talked about, uh, David Flynn, a senior goalkeeper that lost to graduation last year. Um, statistically, he was the best goalkeeper in program history. Um, and you bring, you have a sophomore, Mitchell Mack, and a freshman, Bobby Diaz. Um, how do you, uh, have you named a starter yet, or how has that panned out in the preseason for Tomorrow you? Tomorrow we'll start off with, with Mitch in, in goal. Uh, I think it's 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 become a very competitive position. It's 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 close, uh, but Mitch has the slight edge so far. Uh, you're not going to replace a Dave Flynn. Dave uh, brought a lot of uh, intangibles to his game, no, not just shot blocking, keeping the ball by the ball at the back of the net, but he's very instrumental in in, in starting our attack, uh, and and more importantly, he just gave uh, a great. Uh, team confidence because of his goalkeeping ability. Uh, we have two unproven guys, and and that will be probably the biggest question mark this year. Is uh, you know how how fast can these two step up and uh, help the team to be successful? Uh, so we're I'm anxious to, to to kick off tomorrow, just to, you know, just to see where we stand with our goalkeeping. And tomorrow you have the Bulls, uh, Big Four rival, and then you get the little three rival, uh, Niagara, on Sunday. Um, your expectations? What are you looking? What do you look for as a coach for this weekend? And what do you expect out of these two, uh, Niagara and UB? As you mentioned, it's a rival. Uh, we, we, we know a lot of their players, they know us. Uh, there's, there's no secrets. It's, it's going to be uh, early on in the year, you sometimes don't play your best soccer. Uh, when you add the, the, the rivalry to it, sometimes it's not, <laughs> it's not real pretty. But uh, you know, we want to go into the weekend and get, uh, and get two wins. Uh, we use this as a, as a uh, rehearsal for the, for the conference. We play Friday and Sunday as we would in the conference, and our focus is to come out with six points, you know, three wins. Uh, Three points per, per win, so that that's our goal. We get to play at home and then go on the road. And uh, I think it's a great test for, for a young team this early in the year, and, and we're anxious to get started. Okay, thanks a lot, Coach. Good luck this weekend. Thank you.